Time for us to project the projections. Our guesses as to what preseason win totals may look like uh, from folks like Pakoda and the various bookmakers around the world. This is what the Central finished at last year. Uh, 93 win season for the Cardinals. They took first place and th though the Brewers were in it until early September, the Cardinals really ran away. Uh, everybody else in the division was sub 500. So the odds makers this year reflecting the same kind of order with the Cardinals installed as the chalk for good reason. They think the Brewers uh, are the second shortest shot on the board, as you can see. And we're going to take our swings here at how many wins we think this division will come up with. And um, what I was trying to do, Harold, is I was trying to come up with win totals for each of the teams to where the total number of wins in the division would be significantly less than last year. Because with mm. a balanced schedule now, right. without the ability to play 100 lost teams as regularly as the Cubs and Brewers mm. and Cardinals did, I don't think that this division will win as many games. So I did that, and I came up with a win total of only four fewer victories. So okay. it didn't What's really work got? that way. Um, well, why don't you go first, and then I'll, and then I'll go. All right, well, I looked uh, – mine's going to look similar to Pakota right there. Um, I got the Cardinals with 90 wins. Okay. I've got the Brewers 89 wins. Oh, I think you're the Brewers being generous. Yeah, the Brewers starting pitching. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Okay. Uh, the Cubs are a 500 team for me. Still some work to do. The Reds are at 70. They're at the bottom. I skipped. And then the Pirates. I got 72 wins. You got a plus 10 for the Pirates this year? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's fair. Here's what I have. And Keith is going to tell us how accurate we were. Uh, based on the actual projections. I've got St. Louis at 86 wins winning the division. Wow. I've got the Cubs at a oh, dramatic. They won it at what, 96 last year? 93. 93. Wow. That's uh, only because drop. I think the division is a little different and the, the schedule is going to lay out differently. They're not going to get fat against the, the Reds and the Pirates all yeah. year like they have the past decade. Okay. Uh, I got the Cubs at 84 wins. I got them markedly better than last year. Milwaukee wow. at 80, just because I think their lineup is really not as good as last year's. Yeah, they're still going to pitch, but they're going to have a hard time generating runs there, I think. And then I'm putting the Cubs, or rather the uh, Reds and Pirates, at the same win total of last year at 62, just because I don't know what to make of them. Um, I think the Reds will be better than that, and the Pirates should be too. But I, I couldn't... I couldn't give this division more wins collectively right. than last year just because I think they're going to get beat up a little bit when they travel uh, as much as they will. So, Keith, yeah. how did we do? Well, we mentioned it last week that when Bill was on the show, Bill Ripken, he was the eternal optimist, and Harold has brought some of that flavor today. He went over on all five teams. He was right on the number for the Cardinals. He had them at 90, significantly over on the Brewers, Pirates, and Reds. Maddie, you were under on the Cardinals, Brewers, and Pirates, over on the Cubs, or sorry, you were under on everybody except for the Cubs. So, differing opinions there. But you talked about it, Matt, the strength of the division. I think the number that brings that home, World Series winner from the NL Central, plus 1,200. Those are the longest odds for any division. The NL East at plus 280 with the World Series winner coming from that division would be the shortest odds. That's an interesting way to look at it. I'm surprised that Cubs number is that low. Where are you at on the Cubs, Keith? Because I think they're going to be better than a 73-win team. I'm with you. It's tough to put an exact number on it, but I would say around a 500 team, so I'd go over on that number. Yeah, that's the only one that kind of pops out for me. Yes. You're, you're not as bullish on the Cubs. No, I think they made some nice moves. I like the Dansby Swanson move. I like a few things that, you know, Nico Horner's going to move to second base. I own, like, they're going to be better yeah, than Yeah, they'll last be better. Year. Yeah. 